What's up guys? Today I'm making a video after using iOS 7 on iPhone and I'll be discussing a few features that you know I liked and are really interesting. For example, this uh, standby mode is absolutely new thing in uh, iPhone and as you can see you can customize it as well. You can add widgets and stuff like that and you know I, I think it's a cool feature that Apple added in this uh, iOS 17 update. So I'll be talking about uh, 10 features that I really like. I know there are lots of new things, but it's iOS 17. And uh, so the first thing or the second thing will be the sound and haptics. So if you go to the settings and then you go to the sound and haptics, and then here you can see this all new interface there's a new stuff here showing always play play in silent mode don't play in silent mode and never play so this is fairly new thing with this update and uh, i thought it's a cool feature mind you uh, android has this feature for a long time but you know finally apple decided to get it in detail with ios 17 now another cool feature that I liked, you know, you might have seen in the, uh, on the social media that you can transfer your, what do you call it, you can share your contact with the other phone, but the, just bring them together and then you can share the information. So, or you can airdrop it or you can share your contact. So you can basically customize it in setting like what you want to share like you can customize your picture as well in the settings and uh, or at least you can share your uh, only contact if you like so you can all customize customize it in uh, in my car in the in the contacts so that's it that's a cool feature and also the in uh, if you want to airdrop something then you know apple has added new features in airdrop as well so you can check out those features too now the next thing is taking a picture you know there's another feature in ios 17 you'll find a new feature which did not exist before so if you go in camera app and make sure uh, this way it says level you gotta turn this on if this is always not gonna show that new feature so when you're taking a picture you wanna make sure that your phone is like straight so I don't know if I bring it close if you can see that line uh, yeah so you, it shows a line here very thin line so it tells you when you're if your phone is straight while you're taking a picture or you can uh, you know adjust it accordingly so the next feature is two-factor authentication you know when the emails pile up when you receive a you know two-factor authentication code and then it keeps piling in your thing and it takes up the space as well so what you can do is if you want to turn this setting on it will automatically delete that that thing you know after you have uh, used that passcode so to do that you have to go to the settings and then you go to the passwords so let's find the passwords uh, okay you can search here passwords Uh, right here so password and then you go to password options here you're gonna make sure clean up automatically I don't know if you can see it clean up automatically you gotta toggle this on and that way once you use that you know the two-factor authentication OTP it will automatically delete it from your phone so it's not gonna take up the space so another cool thing in uh, iOS 17 if you forget your password and uh, you enter multiple times wrong password so what happened was uh, ultimately you had to reset the whole phone in order to get access to it so i'm not going to disable my phone but it gives you an option now that you can go into the setting 
I mean, it gives you an option to change the passcode with your older password. Let's say you just changed the passcode, but you forgot the new password. Passcode. I'm talking about the screen passcode, right? So you can, uh, you can, uh, if you remember the old passcode, it will give you an option if your phone is disabled, so you can restore that password with your with your old password. So that's another cool feature. Before you didn't have any choice, but you had to reset the whole phone, and. Uh, which was uh, not a good idea, I think. Now, another cool feature is you can add multiple timers at a time. Like, you can, let's say, it's good for those who do who do, uh, work as a chef or maybe for ladies who do the, most of the cooking. So you can add multiple timers and they run, like, simultaneously. And if you want to delete one of them, you can just swipe and delete it. So that's another cool feature in iOS. 17 and the next thing is if you go in iMessage um, if you want to reply to certain message you can swipe it to the right and then you said okay so it shows the message on the top and then it tells you that you're, you're replying to that particular message so that's a good feature and another thing in iMessage is, is a check-in feature so let's say you it's good for the you know if you're following up on kids where you tell them okay text me when you get there so there's a check-in option you can you don't have to I mean keep following it up or call them like are you there yet so you can set it up and it will automatically detect with the location and it will tell you if the person is there or not yet now this um, this option is obviously only available with iMessages. Let's say I have a friend that who does not use iPhone. Let's say and if I go to the Plus, it is not going to show me the check-in option as you can see here. So most of the options, you know, in this iOS 17, they need another iPhone with iPhone. I mean iOS 17 to interact with each other and that is something new like you have to have two iPhones in order to make most of the things work so the history how is the weather outside it's currently clear and 16 degrees is it raining outside I don't believe it's raining right now is it gonna rain tomorrow it doesn't look like it's going to rain tomorrow okay thank you my pleasure now, if you notice, like, you don't have to say, hey, Siri, each time you, you talk to Siri. You can just continue your conversation. And that way, you know, it makes it much easier before, like, before every sentence you have to say, hey, Siri, then it responds. But now you can have continuous, you know, conversation with Siri. And, of course, you can uh, change the voice as well according to your need. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.